I bring my burden again to my father and my friend. I sing hallelujah. I tried to warn the Christians in America. In 2001, I became aware America and the Christian nations were under attack, not from outside, but from within. The attack was mental, a term called fifth generational warfare, carried out by a small group of seemingly untouchable people. I tried to warn the Christians in America. Did they want to hear it? No. But after the events of 2020, they finally won answers. Discovering that not only could many Christians not defend their faith, but they had bought into an against Christ narrative, one that cost America its freedom. Hey, this is Daniel Collier, and I want to share with you a little journey that I have been on for nearly 20 years. Back in 2001, I was a fireman right after the uh, 2001 attacks on the World Trade Centers, and I had owned a martial arts school for nearly 20 years. So I was very conscious of combat techniques. I had worked with special forces in fact, had lived with some of the guys back in the younger days. And I was a fireman, and there was lots of discussion about uh, America being under attack, the threats, the things that were going on at that time in the lead up to a war based off of the information we were provided. And as we discussed these things with people in the know, as well as myself, we were discovering there were many flaws. In fact, something did not smell right at all. So as a Christian, I began to pray about this, and I asked God, I said, and very sincerely, I said, I want to know what's going on. Tell me, please. I often refer back to now as I'm not quite sure had I known what I was going to learn if I would have prayed this prayer. Because I began research, and it took two or three years of research to really narrow it down and figure out. But when I did, I was assured in myself that I must create a course or a book to allow other Christians to understand this in-depth information about how their country was being hijacked and all the different types of sources and things that were being used to trick them into going to war, going with man-made fear and conscience, overriding how they should behave in such a manner. It is thousands of years old, the tactics that are being used, and it's being done by a group of people who understand black magic. And it's to set forth an against Christ agenda. So during that time, I tried to reach as many people as possible in the Christian community. Did they want to listen? No. So after the last event that took place with the medical tyranny, Christians, as well as the general public, began to severely wake up, noticing that they had been put in a type of tyranny for a very long time from their freedoms to travel, the methodologies of which things are going on, the surveillance systems that were put in place after 9-11. And they began to understand that the mainstream information from the news was lying to them and that their pastors through the mega churches or the mainstream churches bent over backwards to comply and shut down their churches and get their congregations to comply to a tyranny that was very evil. And now Christians are waking up to a great many things on in schools, violating their, their 
Christian beliefs and trying to indoctrinate their children, just as Americans were indoctrinated into going to war for a select group of against Christ people and for agendas to profit them and injure us. The awakening has begun. It's growing so fast they don't know what to do about it. And you will hear me mention in many of the videos, I put up several videos, and within two weeks' time, we had almost 50,000 views. And people were praising and loving these videos of the information that helped fill in the gaps for them. In these videos, you will hear me mention this course all the time. And people think I'm trying to sell a course. I'm trying to reach out to you and allow you to get this course so your family doesn't get injured by this secret state, this evil against Christ agenda that is going on. I'm trying to save your family and save you through information. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And if you don't pay for something, people say, why don't you give it away for free? Well, who's going to sit through five hours or six hours worth of lectures? They're not going to do it. If you don't pay for something, you don't pay attention to it. That is just the law of how things work. So I sell this course that took me nearly three years to put together for a very inexpensive price so that you will be willing to get it. But if you don't pay something for it, you're not going to pay attention to it but it is information that is invaluable that could save your life or your family or keep you from being fooled by this against Christ system any longer. So I wanted to share my story of how I ended up creating this course and why I created it. It's because I love my country and I love God and I love the Christian church and I want this country to be saved again. I want everyone to have the ability to make conscious and free will choices not manipulated by this system. They've had thousands of years to perfect their mental programming and trickery. They use witchcraft, and Christians don't think it can work on them, but it can work on you. It has worked on the church for the past 70 years it's been working on the church. I unveil how this has happened and what they have done in this course so that you and your church will never get fooled by it again. And you can teach this information to other people so that we can get control and take back America and make it a Christian nation again. So I thank you for sitting through this. The following part of this video is going to be a review on the course covering the subjects and the things that are in it. around to the end, and it will show you where you can get it and how it can benefit you. So thank you. This is Dan Collier. Just wanted to share a little information with you about this course and why you keep seeing me trying to get people to get this course in the videos. It is because it is of such vital importance to your life and the Christian nation of America and really all the Christian nations of the world. You need to know how they're operating and how they're controlling and what they're doing to the Christian church. Hey guys, this is Dan from the Christian Life Network and the Sons of Light. Today we are doing a review on the course Reason to Believe Hiding the Millennial Kingdom and how Satan deceives the world. Have you ever wondered who the deep state was, who the shadow people they talk about are, or who the secret societies are? Well, you're not alone. Most people, when confronted with these issues, these events that take place in our lives, the word, as people talk about it, trying to unravel the mysteries, they always review back to or refer back to these secret mystery hidden people that we have no idea who they are. 
It's always like, it's like a cop-out for us. I'm sure you have been frustrated by this for years because it's a way of duping you. It's a way of creating a dismissal that you're never going to find answers to it. You're going to have to live with this and there's nothing you can do about it. This is why this course was created so that Christians, really anyone, but so that Christians could figure out the tactics being used so they could identify the fact that the event, whatever mass event, whatever uh, world cataclysm they are proposing on the news, they can figure out whether it's real or it's a staged event in the theater of life. Let's get into this review because you won't want to miss out on knowing this information. Things that have occurred within that before you and I came onto the scene on this world that governs why these events are taking place the way they are. Into Genesis, the fall of Satan, and how all of this ties into the exact time period we're in now. Through men. In other words, you have divine beings who are not allowed to come and destroy you. In other words, unless God sets forth something, you can't have angels come down with swords and just wipe out a population somewhere because they feel like it. And the same goes for Satan, who is not an omnipresent being, a single entity, and he can't be everywhere at one time. He has flesh and blood, men and women, carrying out the events for him. And this is where the book takes off, is understanding that men are behind turning the knobs and controlling the gears as to these events and these things that are going on to destroy the Christian church, to ruin countries and create the calamity and things that are going on. It moves in from there to the evidence of these things going on. Cost America to go to war, cost thousands of American Christian men to die in this war. And that was the 9-11 event agendas and pathways of doing things hidden within those events. And they're all done to create another circumstance for these hidden ones. So it goes into talking about 9-11 and how everything involved with it had something to do with the occult. There is a weird uh, coincidence that it happened on September 11th, 2001, the numerology of it, 911, when uh, you add up 911s, it equals 666. And 11, 22, and 33 are occultic high numbers in, uh, in both Freemasonry and uh, witchcraft. And you find all of the numbers dealing with the flights and the crew members and things on this. They all add up to, to uh, 11s and 33s. Um, so that the numbers were picked, uh, the numbers that were picked for the flight and the, the official story that was given to us on the news, they picked those numbers. They weren't the actual real numbers. They picked occultic numbers to further promote a psyops. To They have to tell you they're going to do it before they do it. Let's say the evil ones. And then you have to accept it. It doesn't matter if they trick you into accepting it as long as you accept it. And they are allowed to trick you. And that's the secret code revealed in this course. And you need to know. And this is the importance of it. How, how important do you think it is to know this code that they're using so that every time uh, an event takes place, that they're pushing and they're trying to move you farther towards a uh, against Christ agenda uh, or something harmful for you, like the last one that took place, go and take the pharmaceutical uh, death poison and then lock down all the churches and such. How would it have benefited your life 
to understand the mechanisms and ways that they do these things and how they manipulate you. Because I have the knowledge of this book. I know what this book says and how they operate. The day that they came out with the whole uh, plan, planned pharmaceutical event that took place to lock everyone down, the, the day they came out with it, I turned and looked at my wife and I said, look, what's going on here? This is a controlled event. This is all a hoax. It's fake. <laughs> a big problem in the church. Ask yourself, does the Old Testament supersede the New Testament? I will tell you in the past 70 years, there has been a teaching methodology that was entered in, that was uh, interjected into the seminary schools by uh, the Rothschilds paying to stick a man named Schofield's name on a particular teaching. This teaching Bible changed the belief system of Christians that had not, Christians didn't believe for 1800 years or 1900 years, they did not believe in the information being taught in this Schofield Bible. And now probably 90% of Christians follow a teaching methodology that opposes the New Testament and what it says. Instead, they're going back into the Old Testament, uh, uh, attaching three, 4,000-year-old prophecies about uh, Israel becoming a nation in the Old Testament times and diverting it into the New Testament times and making it about current events. No one believed this. All the wise men, all the writers of major books, all the uh, church fathers and such of the old times never believed this. Only into the introduction of this Rothschild paid for book sticking a pastor's name on it who was a attorney who was so crooked he ended up in jail. And they made him a part, this Schofield guy, they made him a part of a, the highest secret society club in New York and got this Bible introduced and changed the course of Christian belief systems so that now they have yoked themselves together with unbelievers and with those who are literally against Christ. <laughs> marketing and advertising major. And I had a professor at a time who worked in the, uh, formerly worked in intelligence and in psychological things. Part of advertising, like it or not, is psychology. Getting people to do things they weren't thinking about doing and they may not want to do and convincing them they need something or should do it. They should do it. This is the media this is teaching philosophies. It all blends in together, and it works. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not. I have had people who were resistant to learning this course, who did this, and thankfully now they are healthy, their family is healthy, and they are so completely awake as a Christian. Just like Jesus said, study to find yourself approved, and that his people perish for lack of knowledge. The people who have studied this course now, they are so thankful because they're no longer asleep and they realize if something something enters into their church, they immediately recognize, hey, we get where this is coming from, out. Nope, this ain't happening here. Or something comes on the news that they're being told to do or an event that might affect their emotions and they can tell immediately, nope, not fooling me with this. I get it. For a 
purpose and for the very thing that they should be opposed to, thousands of Christians died thinking they were doing the right thing because of this event and the lack of knowledge and understanding of how all of this works in the occult realm and how Satan has the authority to trick you if you accept it. He can <laughs>into things like mud flood, Tartaria, the millennial kingdom. When you understand that these occult people, these shadow people, uh, will hide things and the extent of how they do it, you further understand how to uncover things, but you also understand that it really is not a conspiracy theory. It's a fact. This course shows you undeniable evidence that you can look at and say, hey, holy cow, when I look at this, I can't deny that. And I will tell you, even me, when I looked at stuff, there was a time when I didn't understand these things. I was what I call a normie. There's nothing wrong with being a normie. The Bible says, you know, there's a time when you drink milk, but then there's the time that you must move on and eat the meat of the word. You must move into big boy food and big girl food. Do you believe history in school is true? That they have hidden history and you can't deny it. And in fact, I learned some time ago that there was literally people assigned to taking the ancient history uh, in about the early 1900s and they formed a committee to get together and rewrite history and the books and information was all rewritten into a narrative to match what they want. The ancient books, as we know, most have been gathered up. Most have been burnt up and gathered up, and it's very difficult to find. If you are trapped in any of these matrices of belief about history and the formation of countries and what really went on and you don't even know where you live. If you're caught in these matrix, and we all were at one time before something comes along and opens your eyes, what the devil doesn't want, what Satan and his minions and the fallen angels do not want is you to discover that they are trying to keep you in a prison. See, Satan and his followers, the men who are against Christ, they want the dominion. If you realize through this course, if you realize through this course showing you that it exists, that you are supposed to be taking the dominion, you are supposed to be, as a Christian, kings and priests among men. When you realize this, that's what they don't want you to know. They don't Now, within this, as you start to learn things, there are people called gatekeepers. The gatekeepers come along, and if you haven't heard of them before, the gatekeepers come along, and they twist everything, start to reveal to you all of this stuff. Hey, guess what? This is happening. Guess what? This is how this really works. Guess what? Let me reveal to you all this hidden, esoteric, secret stuff that's going on um, in the government or within this thing. And they pretend to be one of you. And always the gatekeepers move from uh, a biblically based, they appear to be at first, they move from a biblically based um, God-centered teaching, steers you into di a different direction, into like secret society, occultic belief system. It's always they will reveal it. And they always eventually, I found all of them will reveal that they speak to entities man-made doctrine. I know, I was taught it since I was five years old, that Jesus is coming, there's going to be a rapture, and then there's going to be this millennial kingdom, and all this stuff is going to take place, that there is extensive evidence, or at least rational evidence, that Jesus kept his word when he looked at the disciples and said, you know, some of you standing here 
will not taste death before you see me return. And then he said, I'm coming quickly. Behold, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Quickly does not mean 2,000 years or mental jump roping, right? Of how to explain like, well, God really means quickly. To God, a year is like a, like a thousand years is like a day to the Lord. Well, when Jesus was looking, when he was looking at those people standing there, was he lying to them? Or everyone for 1,800 years who was a Christian believed it was a history book with a certain few events to take place before Jesus returns for the great white throne judgment. This book will help you understand. This course will help you understand. And the greatest thing of all is that you and me have been tricked by them, by a great many things that we think we understand. From food we eat, to listening to certain types of music, to history, to going to the moon, whatever it is, they have just played a big occultic trick. And you need to know the evidence that reveals the awakening, the scales falling off of your eyes. It's very important to understand how they did it. <laughs>portion of the book is about witnessing to people who are skeptics, people in your family who refuse to listen to what you're talking about as far as the gospel or the Bible being true because of evidence-based science they have been taught, which really is just an excuse to override their um, conscience about God. The evidence given here, if someone through a thousand things that you about, I don't believe in the Bible, it was written by men. Oh, we are created. We have proof by science. <laughs> this information given here, the scientific information in a simple phrase ends it all for them. They will carry that weight around on their shoulder until they repent and believe in God. It will strengthen your faith, but it also will reveal that you cannot deny that the Bible is some kind of supernatural book. Then it gives some information on how to speak to someone to help them to go past the logic of their mind and go into the emotional part, the part that pierces their heart into uh, helping them become saved. And that's how Jesus reached people. Father, I pray for everyone that has been listening and has stuck with me this long that the information I'm talking about will influence them and help them in their understanding that the devil is real, that he is really trying to do things on this earth in a physical way, and that your word and that your Bible and that you are superior and that you have the ability through your believers to take control for your kingdom on this earth. I pray for everyone who's listening to be in good health, that you may prosper, and that you may have a joyful life, knowing that you are entering into the kingdom of God, and that your heart be full of love and joy and peace today. In Jesus' name, amen. Please check out our next video, or you find this book we've talked about today in the uh, description below. You can click on it and get this course. You'll have it on all of your um, all of your devices to reference to, to share, to use as a tool from now on. Yeah, yeah.